Uh, good afternoon. So my topic for this week was uh, from popular speakers, and it's actually it could be advices and messages from popular spe uh, sp uh, speakers. And I chose this topic because since we are needing to improve our speaking skills as well as uh, have chances to make speeches, I figured that. Um, by watching and by following from the popular and professional speakers and I actually um, selected what kind of messages would they deliver to us and then um, so it might be helpful for you to prepare for your next speech or the next time you make a public speak speech in the future so um, so public speech is, it looks like a big thing, but it could be as small as what we do in class. And it could be in any forms, like it can be uh, at schools, it can be in like uh, conventions meetings, or it could be like um, class settings, and or even among friends. So I uh, thought about what makes a good public speech and what makes um, good public uh, speaking skills. So I chose three people, and those are actually from either TED or Snow Lecture, and those were one of my favorite um, spe speeches of all times. Mm -hmm. And the first person I want to introduce is um, Cameron Russell. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you know her, but she is a model from Victoria's Secret. Um, but she had a TED a lecture uh, titled Looks Aren't Everything and she um, had very interesting speech about images and the power of image and she what I, what I liked about her speech was that she had a good sense of humor she had some jokes and then um, the topic was very easy because she talked about um, the model images that we see is mostly constructed and it, it's a piece of artwork made by professional uh, photographers, stylists, and all those people around her. So it's not just her image, but it's something made up. So it's, uh, we shouldn't be too admired to those images, but um, keep ourselves and think about what are images. And um, most importantly, she used a lot of physical movement in her TED uh, lecture, not just hand gestures, but in order to convey how powerful the image is, she actually changed her clothes um, like in front of the stage. Um, first, she was dressed in a really sexy dress, but then um, she thought, uh, well, I know how you view me in this dress, but then I will change my image in just six seconds. And then she puts on really um, just casual skirts and cardigan on, and she says, "Image is very powerful, but look what I just did. I changed. I totally changed my looks in just a few seconds. So image can also be very superficial." That was her quote. So. Um, those model images aren't the reality, but it's something that's made up. Um, and the second speaker I want to introduce is a well-known speaker, um, Oprah Winfrey. Um, she is a famous um, TV and um, like talk show host and entertain entertainer who owns like broadcasting stations and who ran her own talk show. So she, um, usually her speech is mostly about her life stories, but it's very touching because she speaks from the very disadvantaged or very minor uh, people's perspectives. And actually I watched her commencement speech at Harvard University in 2013. Um, so she was speaking to a group of Harvard graduates, but I've noticed that um, her speech was very powerful because she also had a lot of jokes to make it casual and comforting. And also she used a lot of numbers in her speech. Um, so for example, when we learn about like um, 
speech or English in general, we use first, second, third. But usually it was the case um, that she used number one and then she goes on and then number two or she just says one. And then that itself is very powerful um, and makes people to uh, have attention to her. And also she appealed to a lot of emotions which means she had um, very dynamic ups and downs in their voice that she mimicked um, like her father or someone around her and so it was very easy to focus on her speech uh, and she is actually famous for her insightful stories very inspiring life stories and powerful voice like she, we can totally see that she has a lot of power mm -hmm. and also um, in, during her talk show she made the guests very comfortable by also listening to others so she not only she's a good speaker but she's also a good listener and um, once I don't know if you know this episode she invited uh, I think it was a thousand or uh, 200 some hundreds women to her talk show who needed a car for a specific reason like for example they were too poor to afford a car but then they have children to um, drive to school so the woman wrote her episode to her opera and she invited those women wow. and then she said oh if you I'll give you a box and whoever has the car key inside wins the car for today and then she gave it out to everyone who was invited, like hundreds. Wow. Yeah, and all these women there. So, um, I think her um, actions and what she does also adds to her credibility when she makes speech. And we can say that we have some kind of faith or we can probably believe much of what she says. And the third person is actually from a uh, politician, president of the U.S., mm -hmm. Barack Obama. And I was very inspired by his speech, um, in especially his 2004 Best Democratic National Convention speech. And in terms, uh, in Korea, it's like Cheongdam Dewe, which seems very boring mm -hmm. in our perspective because all we think about is politicians saying something really boring. In, in the National Chamber of Kukai. But his speech actually had um, some great impact to even like students like us because um, first of all, his hand gestures were very unique and then he um, goes like this mm -hmm. and, then, <laughs> and then he makes this point like one and then so he makes use of very good hand gestures and also he has a confidence in his voice, very nice confidence, um, and he also makes repetitive words. That's I think the important thing about o Obama's speech. Uh, for example, he said, uh, "There is not a liberal America or a conservative America, but there is the United States of America." And it's not a hard phrase, but it's very powerful. Although it's short, but it has some repetitive words. And he goes on to say, like, there's no black America, white America, Asian America. There is the United States of America. And those repetitive sentences have really good power in delivering what he wanted to say to people. And um, so this, uh, the second line here is actually from his inaugural speech when he became the president in 2000. Eight, uh, I think, and he said to uh, those Middle Eastern people, um, to those leaders who see conflict, uh, know that your people will judge you on what you can build, not what you destroy. That's very powerful, even though it's not a hard sentence. Um, so I think his words are, have really good meaning and also effect to just common people who doesn't have. Uh, that much knowledge about po politics. Um, so um, my conclusion is simple. It's a quote from Nike that I really like. Um,
speech is really hard because you have to keep practice every day. And but if we can follow some kind of path from these successful speakers and try to think about what they're trying to deliver to us, I think we can improve a lot from this. And then I think the most important thing about any kind of speech is making a difference. And the difference um, is not to just make other people different, but to make ourselves different. And even if it's a small difference, like even if you uh, make someone else's day, I think that's a very meaningful speech. And um, I think we should try um, hard to improve ourselves in terms of speech. Thank you. Uh, very interesting.